hey guys welcome back to my channel it's been long yes i know but i promise you guys that this time it's consistency throughout i'm gonna be in your on your screens and you're just gonna not get the last of it ah what am i saying <laughs> and you're just not gonna get the last of it so Yes, if you want to find out how I achieved this beautiful autumn look, please stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And like, comment, and yeah. One last thing you have to do is just enjoy people. Yes, so let's get straight into it. For this look, I'll be using the Color Obsession eyeshadow booklet by Beauty Treats. As a transition shade, I'll be using this nude and beautiful color called Amber. And now on my lid, I'm using this color called Yam. So you guys, at first I wasn't quite sure about the color combination, but it just turned out rather perfect. So sometimes you just got to trust the process and wait till the end, really. Just wait till you put everything else on. Foundation, liner, lashes, and you'll see everything will just tie together. And now for liner, I'll be using this gel liner by LA Girl. I'm not quite sure what the shade is, but I'll make sure I put it on the screen somewhere. So this brush that I'm using is also by LA Girl and it came in the same package as the gel liner. You guys can find this gel liner from this game stores.
and now in with the foundation and i'll be using the true color foundation by black opal in the shade beautiful bronze Till I get up, time is barely on our side. Now I'll be going in with the photo focus concealer in the shade medium tawny, and it is by Wet and Wild. I'll be using this to highlight all the heightened parts of my face, that being my under eyes, my nose, my forehead, as well as my chin. The reason why I'm fanning my concealer is because I want it to be more prominent and I don't want it to just disappear in my foundation. I want it to stand out, basically. As you guys can see, I'm starting off by blending the parts that I want to have stand out the least. That being my chin, then my cheeks and lastly will be my nose. When blending your concealer, make sure to use the dabbing motion and this will help not to move your foundation around. 
because if we just brushing it around that uh, your foundation is gonna move and uh, we don't want that This part is optional. I only do it to conceal my smile lines as well as my mini moustache. Back and forth. Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here. All your shots have scored. No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin. We fight and we fall, then we rise through it all till we find what we want. Then we lose it all again. Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in. Just me, just you. Because I don't have a contour palette or any contour product, I am using my eyeshadow to contour my nose and all the other areas that needs to be contoured. And that shade right there is the shade that I use to contour my face. When contouring the cheek area, always make sure to take it a bit higher, almost to your cheekbone.
Here's me rushing for that brush to quickly dust off all the excess setting powder. And that is just because I didn't want to bake. And now what's left to do is to blend everything so that everything is in unison. Your contour, setting powder, foundation, everything is just blended out. Oh yeah, don't forget those ears now. We don't want to be having two shades as well as your neck. Don't forget those are very important. And now for the lips, I will be using this brow pencil. Yes, it is a brow pencil by Wet n Wild. And I will basically be outlining my lips. Now I'll be going in with another pencil, this time a lip liner by NYX and it is in the shade 835. I do not have a pink lipstick, therefore I decided to use a lip liner. For gloss, we'll be using the Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss by Essence. I'll be back in just a second with my head scarf off. Thank you. 
Oh no, look at me trying to figure out this thing that YouTubers do when pointing out shades. Oh my god. <laughs> Anywho, we'll be going in with the color um, canary to highlight our brows, the nose, the lips. I actually should have done the lips by now, but yeah. As well as on the cheekbones. I am using my ring finger to blend out the highlighter. Visualizing yourself is Yeah, I would visualize uh yeah, I would this visualize is what you were broken for. Right, having directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, Yep, as I've said by now I should have already done this uh, part, but I am only doing it now after the lippies and gloss and everything. So this part comes up before you apply anything on your lips. Five years, or three years, maybe. And and I dated in Thanksgiving 1995. Just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make ten million dollars and dollars and dollars. Again, using my ring finger as well as the same shade from this palette, Canary. I am uh, now highlighting the cheekbones. You can highlight your chin and forehead as well, if you like. And now what I'm doing is uh, I'm blending the highlights and making sure that it is not too blinding. But anyways, it's not blinding. <laughs> it is an eyeshadow, it's not a highlighter, but yeah so that is the finished look you guys how do you like it please comment down below and tell me how you like this look and as well don't forget to like comment and please do subscribe oh look at that <laughs> Please also comment down below and tell me which look you would like to see next. Uh, if you would like to see a cut crease uh, or uh, a makeup, no makeup look uh, or anything or a contour tutorial, just please comment down below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!